Hi and good afternoon. Um, yes. Well, it's a little bit of an uh, of a roller coaster day already. The sun was shining nice and brightly this morning, but um, sadly, I was actually going to the Thanksgiving service of the late journalist Komla Dumont. Um, the service was held at St Martin's on the Field in Trafalgar Square. Um, and it was it was actually a very lovely service, very emotional. Um, Conrad Demar's wife spoke, um, his friends spoke, his colleagues spoke, and everything they said about him made me wish I had met him. It made me wish he was my mentor. So I guess probably what I've taken out of this is that I'm not going to really beat about the bush and I'm going to just try and get out there as a budding aspiring journalist and um, and be like him, you know, an ambassador for Africa. Um, there were so many things that were said that just resonated with me and I was even taking notes. So you can find that when I do my write up on my blog. But I just wanted to share this moment with you because it's so fresh. I'm still in the tie that I, I wore. It was um, black and red. And what was also very good was that it was a mixture of African tradition and, you know, European uh, Anglican. Because the church was that in an Anglican, um, the service was at an Anglican church. Um, yes, and then ironically, I, I networked with quite a few other people who are also journalists and and I think now what I've also realised is that I'm not going to wait to tell someone that I appreciate them. Um, if I see someone that I know, or if, even if I've seen them that I know from TV, so I don't actually know them, um, I won't think twice now about approaching them to tell them that what I think of them and their work, or at least getting to them via Twitter because it was just probably two or three days before Comla de Mort passed away. Um, I fell asleep watching TV and I woke up at around 3 a.m. at night, well in the morning, and I just heard this voice. And I woke up and there's his face reading the news to me. There he is. And I just thought, wow. The first thing I actually thought was, he should not be on TV at night. He should be on daytime TV. We need people like him on daytime TV. And I just thought, wow, this guy is... I was touched. And I should have just tweeted straight away that you inspire me or you motivate me. You make me want to be on TV. Or you make me even want to put on my TV to see people like you. And I didn't. And then three days later, I'm getting... I got the sad news that Saturday afternoon... Or Saturday evening. So, um, well, this is my second vlog. Um, so I'm just still getting used to this. I don't know even where to put my eye level. But um, what I just wanted to share with everyone out there was that don't wait. Life is too short. If there's something you want to do, there's something you aspire to be, be it. Don't wait. Just be it. Go out there make the contacts, find the path it takes to get there. And hopefully I will take my own advice and do that as a journalist and just get out there and just find confidence in myself, you know? There are stories that I want to tell. I want to tell the stories of the people out there. I travel so much, I meet so many amazing people and yet the story just stays within my blog. But there's a wider audience out there to hear what they have to say. So um, my condolences goes out to the whole family, Komla Demos family, my uncles, the Bejos, um, the friends of Komla Demo family, and and Ghana who've lost a son. You know, Ghana's lost a great journalist. Ghana's lost uh, Ghana's lost a son, as is half, as the whole of Africa. He he touched many, many, many. I could really go on, but since um, I'm probably babbling a bit, so I think I'll end it here. But this this was um, just to to say something about the service today. 
And you can read my blog. I will do a write-up about it and post the pictures, and that will be on my blog. But in the meantime, you can also hear some of the music that was played at the church service. Thank you, and have a great day. Stay tuned for more. Bye.